including the jewel in Voth's crown. The greatest superhero team the world's ever seen. The Seven. Let's hear it for my boy A-Train. <laughs> All right. You fucking cocksuckers. Please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem. I've got the boys together. No. Jonas. Yeah. To do what? Spank the bastards. Yes. Pardon my French. Fuck those fuckers. Today, me and the boys are going to hang out. I know this is going to sound cringy, but I am going to repeat this joke over and over again. How the hell did this show not get sued by DC? It is quite clearly inspired by the Justice League. But if we take out the superhero element from the boys, then it strangely feels more real than real. Over the years, with Marvel's MCU and DC trying to imitate them and create their own pathetic copy and several other superhero movies and TV shows popping out of nowhere, the genre has gotten boring and superhero fatigue is real guys. And in the midst of all this, Amazon's The Boys feels like a breath of fresh air. In my opinion, they gave us the best version of Superman that I never knew I wanted to see. World's greatest superhero. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Remember Batman vs Superman? where Hack Snyder, oh, I mean Jack Snyder, set out to create a dark version of the Justice League but wounded up literally making it dark instead. Seriously guys, I am not exaggerating when I thought something is wrong with the brightness slider on my TV. Game of Thrones actually tried to replicate this with their White Walkers battle sequence at Winterfell. Anyways, Nolan's The Dark Knight universe was gritty and real while The Boys is black comedy done right. Another reason to hang out with The Boys. Now many superhero franchises have tried to humanize their godlike characters, but they have always felt half-baked at best and pretentious at worst. Most of the characters you will encounter in The Boys are exactly like the flawed people you will find at school and work, except they have superpowers. The use of drugs by superheroes is cleverly used not only to point out the drug problem plaguing today's youth, but also how hyper-competitiveness in the contemporary society can drive us to adapt any and every means necessary to succeed. My engineer and MBA brothers and their sisters will know what I am talking about. Now let's talk religion. While every movie in the Conjuring universe desperately tries to sell Christianity as the solution to all of life's problems, the boys holds no punches in calling out the merchants of religion who will do downright anything to exploit the masses and make some money. Starlight coming out against this hypocrisy is one of the most powerful moments in the show. I'm done pretending. And I'm done taking any more shit. Speaking of Starlight, she is also at the center of another heartbreaking moment in The Boys when one of her idols turns out to be a sexual predator. The scene is upsetting to say the least but feels totally relevant in today's Me Too era when the powerful are finally being called out for playing on the weak. The final reason to hang out with The Boys are its characters who are not constrained by the kid-friendly notions of DC. No one is cartoonishly evil and nobody is an annoying boy scout either. No all-out heroes or one note villains. Like I have said before, Homelander is the best version of Superman that I never knew I wanted to see. Imagine Soup helping create meta-terrorists for the Islamic State or abandoning a plane full of innocent passengers to die just to save his image, all the while wearing the American flag as his cape. Pretty effing hilarious and dark if you ask me. Apparently, I gotta wait for Congress to say it's okay. So, 5810! The righteous shall rejoice when he sees the vengeance! The Flash also gets the same treatment with A-Train. A-Train is an addict who is battling the loss of speed with age and doesn't hesitate to kill even the people closest to him. I couldn't help feel bad for Queen Maeve trying to figure out her identity after having forgotten what she stood for. Things I let you do to me. Yeah, I'm not even dating anymore. Still a better Wonder Woman than Gal Gadot in my opinion. The show's bumbling idiot Aquaman ripoff, getting a taste of his own medicine in the end, was quite cathartic to say the least. Now the closest thing to a hero the boys has is Billy Butcher, but his whole crusade is actually based on a shaky premise. And he is not really a hero because he treats his friends as collateral damage in his crusade. Carl Urban was a terrific choice to portray him and you just gotta love his accent. Sporty fucking spice, what's she up to? The same goes for Frenchie, 
the culinary expert and weapon specialist of the team with a heart of gold. You need to unclench your asshole. The irony of mother's milk being the team's rationalist and the family man who put his family in danger because of his friends is not lost on me. Huey and Stargirl coming to terms with how brutal the real world can be and finally standing up for themselves is actually the most cliched part of the show. I was quite intimidated by Kimiko but only because she reminded me of the girl from the ring complete with her hair and silence. The boys isn't afraid to flaunt its disdain for big business with Vought International's Vice President Madeleine Steelwell, who can be quite ruthless to climb up the corporate ladder. And Elizabeth Shue portrays her character masterfully. Although I wonder what the creators will have to say about the fact that I have to pay Amazon to watch their show. Anyways, like I said, the most interesting fact about the series is that it highlights that there are no real heroes. Both the pretending saviors and the ones who claim to oppose them will do anything to further their agenda. So while you and I wait eagerly for the second season, always remember, never meet your heroes. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Click on the little bell icon if you want to be notified whenever a new video comes out. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. See you on the next one. This is Mr. T signing off.